We gonna get it to the real when y'all come up over here, man. So put your big boy pants on when you come over here, folks. For real. Put your big boy pants on and we gonna get it to it straight like that, folks. But definitely hit that like button for the boy if you're here for a good time, not a long time. You ain't here to stay. Hit that like button, man. Value Christ over your life, gang. First off, I will come out and say I, I did not see this recording until today. So I'm posting it for my people who might have not have seen it. You know, but and I wanted to, you know, kind of give my opinion as to what went down, because I know so many people. I saw it in the comments on Facebook and, and, and you know, folks just love to just think that people do and say certain things for money. And if you listen to this woman, if you listen to it and it's full or if you already have, then you'll see that she was speaking on Christ coming back. She spoke, on, she spoke on the churches and how they always spoke, talking about money and the famous people, this and that. But nobody's speaking of Christ's second coming. And these are the things that Christ, man, the, uh, I'm telling y'all, man, it's in the air right now. And, and, and people are speaking out. So he who has an ear, let him hear. Truly, y'all, this ain't stuff that we should be taken lightly. When you continuously see people speaking out, talking about the end times, how they speaking out. All of her, she's talking about weird warlocks, witches. The, this stuff really happens. It really happens. And these families really get broken down from the inside out. And you get people who don't understand the hurt. They don't understand what this mother or what these people go through. Like even with uh, 50 Cent Son, we don't truly understand their pain and understand they hurt. Like when you connect it to somebody and you, it ain't about the money. It's about the, the relationship and, 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 and the world gets to, to be, uh, admire upon uh, uh, your family member, but you can't even, you know, uh, uh, talk or be around them because of the, the things in which they are involved in. She talked about major occultic stuff, man. She talked about a lot of things that is very, very deep that I hope that y'all have an ear to hear and, and, and listen through, man, because this is real and and Christ is coming back way sooner than what the world wants y'all to know. That's why it's giving us, it's, it's trying to pervert our mind. And the, uh, 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 it's hard on that right now. It's hard on the perversion of the mind. It's hard. It's pushing things that, 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 that shouldn't be pushed. But it's all to get you to lose your spot out of heaven right now. Even the elect, if possible, this is Bible. Even the elect, if possible, will be deceived. I'm telling you, man, the 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 deceit is everything we in which we live. Everything that you know, uh, uh, this is true talk. Every other, all these other stuff, deceit is deceit because it takes you away from what's really at hand, from what we really should be talking about. From the uh, uh, what we with these podcasts, they, they talking about the, they not talking about nothing. Y'all just being entertained again. I'm gonna continue to say this because y'all entertainment gonna be it's the beginning to the end of y'all damnation. Find something else to be entertained. Find talks like this. Not you ain't gotta find me, but find somebody else that's talking like this. But yeah, man, I don't want to get the preacher too much. But man, pay attention and listen and hear her out for all of the things that she said, even about her son, uh, the women that he had uh, uh, got pregnant that he had kids with, all of the things that she said. This is real, and people have the the spirit to discern. And then they will get out and they say these things. So with the hopes that y'all will understand the time that we living in. But man, value Christ over your life, gang. That is definitely where we at, man. That I can let the mother of takeoff and the grandmother and the family of takeoff. I want them to know my heart is so torn and I am so with her in prayer, with them in prayer. Because this situation right here, that family will never be the same. Now, I'm a victim of this bullshit. I did not know Takeoff. I did not know Quavo. I met Offset a long uh, time ago, and I have my own opinions. I personally can't stand the industry. I can't stand none of this shit. Real talk, I'm a sacrifice. So you better know this. They come for what is pure. They come for the one that's got the love. 
okay, because I got a lot of love. But when I tell you, your enemies always be close. I have had my family members to jump me. I've been isolated ever since this label started and the Migos got their first Grammy. My son said to me, Mama, I'm congratulating him. But he said to me, and this is my firstborn, Mama, your life over with. It's been six years. The whole Queen Madonna came and got with my youngest son, who is the weakest link. And I, I tell you what, I'm not going to make this about me today. But I've been jumped. I've been jailed. I've been made to look crazy. I've been made to look that I'm a, I'm a junkie. I'm this and I'm that. Let me tell you something. You can raise a child on their knees. You can take them in the church of God in Christ because I did all that. My house was a house of prayer. But a snake is a snake is a snake is a snake. These witches, these warlocks, they be in your own damn bloodline. Now, I just want to give my condolences to this family. I feel that Takeoff had the spirit of the dove. I feel that he had the heart of the lion. I feel that this young man was chosen. Now, they go into this stuff. I told my son, because I heard the young lady talking about what you should teach a child. Well, I told my son this, and I talked to all my children. I was a raw, uncut parent, and I told them about life and about the way it really is. And I remember telling my sons, let me tell y'all the truth about life and about the way it really is. The devil going to offer you the world just like he did Jesus. He don't just come to rich folk. He come to the chosen ones. And I said, now, it's going to be your choice because he God, he don't force himself on nobody. Don't think that the devil ain't offered me his kingdom way long ago. I could have been with the rich man. I had three kids, that rich man money. I got enough to do what I needed to do, and I knew when to pull back. I am very, very uncomfortable with this situation. I wanted to go pay my respect to take off, but I couldn't because they already got my picture down now. They're going to humiliate me, have me locked up, say I'm crazy. So God told me to stay back. You talked about the gift of discernment. I am a counselor. And so I know the way take off. I know he I know that he was intuitive. And I'm sure that he felt something. Listen, you follow the closest one that's closest to you, and it can cost you your life. My health is all messed up. My sister dropped me from behind in a Christmas dinner. They flew me from L.A. After that, my son tripped me in the dark, let a trunk down on my back. So don't tell me what family won't do. I'm in court right now with my aunt who been dragging me in and out of court on false accusations. I finally get a damn TPO on her. She want to move the judge out the way so she can get what she want. What the hell wrong with you can't just leave me alone? Because, see, jealousy is as cruel as the grave, baby. I'm real mad about shit with takeoff, J. Prince. And fuck Jazz Prince and fuck Jay okay. Prince Jr. And I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be able to let this mother know my heart is with you. They won't let me get close to nobody. And not that I want to be seen.
Because that ain't my world. I don't condone none of this shit. Anybody climbing for me, because they been climbing for me, they not going to stop climbing for me. But I'm going to tell you, I'm a child of the Most High God, and the blood of Jesus is on me. The devil can keep shooting his best shot with me. Because, see, I am dying. I'm in God's army. We know that we all going to leave this life. Nobody's going to stay here. I don't give you the billion now with the most billions on the earth. Your ass going to sleep. You are uh, you going to leave here because we didn't come in this land and stay here. When it come to the young people, please don't follow nobody. Stop following. Stop following y'all because y'all didn't hear Tupac. He said in real life, your friends is your enemies. Huh? They should have learned from Tupac and Biggie. I'm not understanding why these boys was in Houston with this stuff that just happened with Duke the Jeweler. I don't get it. I don't get it that if you had that status, security is down special forces, Navy SEALs and shit. You got money. I I saw the messy video. I saw a lot of messages. I'm not going to try to say too much. Please. But who's going to go to somebody else's house and make threats? Come on with the jokes. Mm. I saw the whole situation. Come on with the jokes. I guess because I done live long enough. I'm from the hood. I'm from Martin Luther King and Bankhead. I spent probably 30 years in College Park, Old National, Godless Road. And uh, let me tell you something. It's rude to this shit. What's the rule? There's not a doubt. There's there's not a doubt in me that takeoff probably didn't want to go. He didn't want to be there. That's what everybody go. said. He, he probably didn't, didn't want to go. No, he was influenced you know, by uh Quavo. He was following him. And 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 about these snakes, they all crawling on their belly. You know what I'm saying? I've called my son all week to check on him. I'm not allowed to talk to him. Um, He's done quite a bit to me, and they try to keep me quiet and not seen. And my thing is this. Um, I'm just so sad because this family will never be the same again. And mother will never be the same again. And above all, a good one is gone. I ain't saying he was perfect. I didn't know take off. Um, but I knew his spirit. And he had the spirit of a dove. Um, I'm very spiritual. I stay back because I've been hurt too many times. I'm not a groupie hoe. I ain't never been a groupie hoe. Folks with money don't excite me. Because folks with money, some of the most evil people on the earth, who the hell do they help? Who the hell do they help? They ain't building no schools. They're not trying to help these kids. They're not trying to do no mentoring. You know, our little girls, they got nobody to look up to now. And um, and I'm not telling you that I'm perfect and that I had uh, was perfect in raising my kids. What I did not do was abandon them, abuse them, uh, or, or put in a net. Or, or anybody before them, you understand? And um, I just tell you, you do the best you can do as a parent, and um, you got you can you can raise some fucking psychos and don't even know it, um, or you in denial. I was in denial for a long time, you understand? But I'm not in denial about nothing because see, the truth makes you free. And when God tell you it is what it is, it is what it is. Don't nobody need to be blind to what's going on. We are living in the last days. Everybody be better be looking out, trying to, to look out for God. That's what you better be doing. You understand? Right. Um, this world not going to stay around. Do you understand? Jesus is on the way back. You ain't got to believe it. He going to show up and he going to show out when it's time. You understand? But while we are here on this earth, we need to be, you know, that word say every man must work out their own salvation. Some people don't want salvation. Some people living in hell and they know they going to hell and they are right with it. They done made the deal. You understand what I'm saying? And 
you know, it is what it is. For me, I suffer so much, I'm shell shocked. You understand? It happened to me in my childhood. Shit that happening to, happened to me as I was raising my children. When every family member turned they damn back, except for my auntie, God bless her soul, that's gone. And, and her children turned on them a lot of generational curse. You understand? Yes, I did so greatness into my children, but it did not mean in the demeanor that they got their money. You understand what I'm saying? And that's on them, and that's between them and God. This whole prima donna, she's the biggest snake I ever damn met besides some of them snakes in my family, okay? Now, I hate my son made babies with a voodoo witch. Those babies are innocent. For me, uh, when I tell you I'm sacrificed, I don't even know Pierre grand Pierre children. Because the bitches that he got babies with, don't none of them have ever, not one time, tried to bring a baby to me. I'm not in the business of chasing some bitches that I don't even know. Excuse my English, y'all. I'm trying to keep it clean. Because, you know, I am from the West Side. I am from my Luther King and Bankhead. My grandmama talked and I talked and I, put, I am no nonsense with my mouth. 90 but I seconds. don't want to, you know, you know, I want to do better when the public is hearing me because I am an older woman, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm no nonsense. You know, like, you know, you, you want to, you, you want to go to war with me. Well, first of all, I'm going to raise the word of God that swore it on you. But if you come for me, then I'm something else. But I'm so messed up physically from what my family members have done to me, particularly my sister, my son, and, 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 uh, some of his seconds. Goons, but whatever, it ain't about me. It's about a young man is gone. And it's and about you can the relate. pain. You can relate. Jeez. To his situation, more than you ever could, more than you ever could know, more than you ever could know. I can relate. More than you ever could know, or any of y'all could know. This is a sad situation, and I just want God to to do His do ju- His do justice, and He's going to get the vengeance for takeoff's life. He's going to get the vengeance with what they've been doing to me. Yes. And there are others that are gone on. You understand? Yes. But I would tell anybody, you better stand up for what you know is right. Do the right thing. Ten seconds. No matter what they offer you. All money ain't good money. Your family can be your worst damn enemy. Period. Can't nobody in the world with me. It's my family. So... I am just grateful to you for taking my call because to take out mom, I think her name is Treat. I love you so much. I always respected your son more than the other Migos. God had me interceding and praying for takeoff because I pray for all of the artists. I pray for the artists because I know the truth. And uh, a lot of times these people start out good people or the music start out good. And then when it get to the industry, they flip them. They flip them. But still, it's about choice. You can, you can choose this. You know, my, my sons are going to this church and he, they got a pimp pastor from New York. Um, Dallas Wilson, I call him out. Yeah. But uh, all he pushed was... Millionaire, millionaire, millionaire. Next thing you know, I started looking up, seeing all these changes. First, I was glad because they was in the Church of God in Christ. But I ain't never seen no Church of God in Christ like this. Because this man ain't not one time talked about uh, the second coming of Christ. You know, and that's, and every church needs to be getting us ready for the second coming of Christ. No, he always talked about money, 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 money. Millionaire, millionaire, millionaire. Well, look at this millionaire because he got his family, and I ain't got mine. You know, I mean, it 